This is a short video on what you have to do when you get an SP6548. And this is the same thing as the LV6548. I have taken the cables off this so I can do this single-handedly. Taking this first one off, if I can get my fingers on it, there we go. I'm going to set this aside. These unplug from the display unit. Now, you have to take out all the black screws that go around here. Not anything that's silver, and here's three more here that has to be taken off. One, two, three, before I can take off this top. The purpose of me taking this apart, which I did not want to do, is because of one of the things that I have learned that you need to have a, a, a bonding screw, one bonding screw for everything you do. So your, my main panel is going to have the bonding screw between neutral and ground. Each one of these LV 6548s, and this particular one's a 65, SP 6548, which means it's 6.5 kilowatt hours on 120. And you can probably see the L load neutral ground. This is the input. I won't be dealing with this because this is going to be strictly off grid use. You can see I have one already hanging on the wall. And this over here is going to be my main panel. And this is going to have the neutral and ground bonded together there. And I have two ground rods, one outside, just right outside the, the, through this wall, and the other one on the opposite side of the building. So I have two ground rods, ground rods within 12 feet of each other. And that would, I will be grounding into that little bar right there, which is going to be my bonding. There's a bonding screw in there, so I'm going to bond the cabinet and all the neutrals and grounds on that one single bar right there. Now, if you can see that screw right at the end of my fingertip right there, that is the bonding screw that they have for the neutral and ground, and that needs to come out. So I just have the lid set aside just a little bit here and I wanted to point out one thing about the lid. This part right here needs to go underneath this. Put your three screws in. I didn't take any of these out. This is still plugged in. And um, this is one of the things you must do if you want your bonding at your um, main disconnect. And that panel, as I mentioned over here, which I'll go back to it real quick, is going to be where I'm gonna have our the neutral grounds bonded together. It's very hard to believe that that little screw right there is the bonding screw for the neutral ground. It is tiny. But it has been removed, and now I'm going to put the lid back on, and all the and all the screws, uh, all the black screws that go around the perimeter. The sad thing about it is, if you notice right here, uh, probably voids the warranty. One of the screws goes right through when it was manufactured, and this was manufactured nine of twenty-two. So. I heard somewhere that uh, the newer units do not have that uh, bonding screw. You know, I don't know if that's true or not. That's just what I've heard. But thank you for watching. I uh, will keep you updated as I put the uh, as the T class fuses come in. My DC uh, disconnects come in. I'm going to build the bus bars. By the way. The bus bars will be built out of this. And this is one quarter inch solid copper. And that's what I'm gonna build my bus bars out of. Of course, they won't be touching any of the material. And all and everything that I've put on is gonna have a hardy board behind it. All my inverters, uh, I'm gonna put a wireway in. 
and that's going to be protected by Hardy Boy. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching.